Hi, dear students. Uh, now, post neat, what to do? Now, is anybody around? Uh, okay. There are so many queries that I have read. Some I have still not read, but I still thought, you know, I will discuss a few things that came up in my mind. You know, what I would have done in your situation. Now, there are a couple of situations that I may be a little personal. My personal views on it, okay? Uh, okay. So we've got a great rank. Now you have a great rank. Again, you have a problem. Now what speciality you want to choose? Yes. Okay. So if you got a great rank, first of all, congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Now we'll talk about the speciality part a little later. Hi, Ashwin. Hello. Hi, Ashwin. Yeah. Okay. So great rank holders. Congratulations again. Now, what if the birth is dicey ranks? You okay? Now let's say I expected some great rank, and I didn't expect a great. I, I didn't get a great rank. We landed somewhere below that. Now, what to do? Okay, so there are two ways about going around this. Now, if you feel okay, I have to get only that great rank. Okay, I will never compromise. If you are not willing to compromise, don't compromise. Okay, and that's because, not because I'm deciding it for you. You're deciding it for yourself. If you don't want to compromise, just don't compromise. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whether it's the AIMS, the mid-year DNB, or the next NEET. But let me tell you, you have to work really hard. You have to be really focused, not overconfident. Now, just because you got a decent rank this time, that does not ensure that you're going to get a decent rank again. So you're going to fight with new competitors now. Yes, fresh ones who may not have the same pressure as you, who may perform without that anxiety levels. So it's a few fresh bunch that you're fighting with. Okay, a new bunch that you're fighting with. So you have to give your best. Okay, so these decent rank wale aim for aims, go for aims, go for the media DNB. Now, coming to, do I have to start all over again going for classes? Guys, let me be honest with you. If you have attended some classes and you have some material with you, please do not get redundant material because the more you attend, you will be spending your time in classes, the time that you have to actually be spending reading and strengthening your core. All right. So I would suggest you read your material, read your books, read, do previous question papers rather than, you know, just be a herd. OK, I also want to join this. There's nothing new that you're going to learn. There's nothing new. If you attended some regular things, I personally would never go because I know my strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to sit and introspect and work on my own strengths and failures okay because when i go again as a group now i'm lost again and again i end up writing new material now you and you have some old material you have some new material you're not reading anything you just put in a dilemma what to read okay so again after like in may march end or april you're going to come back saying ma'am what to read okay so be very very concentrated on what you're going to read focus okay so that is for the decent one all right. Now, if you are okay, I got a decent rank. Let me take any speciality. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really, it's not always that, okay, I aim for medicine. I aim for pediatrics. I'll have to take only pediatrics. See, life has other plans for you. May have other plans, better plans for you. So God, you know, you know, God proposes, I mean, sorry, man proposes, God disposes. It doesn't like he disposes. He has better plans for you. So be positive. Take it positively that way. So whatever you choose to take, okay, whatever you choose to take, whether it's a clinical subject, paraclinical or a totally non-clinical subject, just aim to excel at it. Learn to love it. That's life. Sometimes, you know, you'll have to be practical. So that option is also there for you. So either you don't compromise and work very hard at it or with that decent rank, whatever you're getting, you'll, you'll get a decent speciality, no doubt. Okay. So just go for it. Doesn't matter. You can always excel in whatever you're doing. Now, DNB or MD doesn't make a big difference. Doesn't make a big difference nowadays. It's almost equal in everything. So it doesn't matter. And 
if you, somebody is asking me man surgical specialty is it good and there are a lot of prejudices in surgical specialties yes there is a surgical there is a prejudice in almost all specialties not specialties everywhere at home work i mean even when you are passing by on the road there are people who are prejudiced against you for no reason so that is nothing at all now uh, abhishek now a decent rank i am still not able to comment upon because i have been having classes now so i'll have to look at the previous rank years rank this years rank and then we'll be able to come at a decent uh, idea for decent rank so I'm not committing a number right now okay so you at the moment you are at a better position to comment on a decent rank give me a day i'll have sit down and see and only then i can get back to you on that number okay i can't put a figure on that decent number okay right so you get what you want you excel at whatever you get all right so that is one option now ma'am i've got a pathetic score i got a pathetic rank and when you got a pathetic score and a pathetic rank there are two possibilities either you did not prepare at all and you landed with a pathetic score and yes you did, did you did a good prep but still you landed at a pathetic score and a pathetic rank or you think you did a good preparation matlab apparently you thought you did a good preparation and you landed up with a pathetic score okay so now if you have not prepared well and you not done well better back up okay now again if you have attended a regular class what is the point going for a regular class again you going to get the same notes again there's nothing new that's going to come up there's no new subject that we're going to teach you the subject is the same maybe there'll be one or two a little more a little less okay so concentrate on that existing notes read more do more questions read more read more okay read more and practice more questions you are not practicing questions okay now i thought i did hard work but i still ended up getting a pathetic rank that means your style of preparation is not right somewhere something is missing okay we are missing the we are missing something now what is that we are missing now most of you what you do you read notes you just blindly read notes it's not enough you'll have to do questions and questions the source could be any question bank any question bank okay any question bank and practice more questions every day you have to practice questions that is the key it's not that okay i have allotted 5 days for a subject i'm going to read for 4 days and then do mcqs on the 5th day no it doesn't work like that you have to train yourself to do mcqs every day because mcq is what you're going to get at the end of the day so your mind has to be trained for mcqs is that clear so that means your your methodology is wrong so you'll have to change your methodology all right okay number 3 okay one second uh for question practice should i go to uh now uh the more questions you practice more the better okay and more the variety of questions the better okay yes now sources of questions other than hydra i don't even know your real name so i really don't trust who you are <laughs> because you know how things work now you putting me in a spot Now, if you if you're willing to give me your real name, your credentials, then probably yes, I'm also willing to give you some sources. But right now, you know your sources better than me, so I'm not quoting anything because I'm not here to recommend anybody. Okay, I'm give I'm here to give you an honest view of the present scenario. I'm not doing any recommendation for anybody. This is not an advertisement, so I'm not going into any names. Okay, right. So. yes you can do subject wise you can do grand test whatever but you have to be in touch with questions okay that depends on your level of confidence but do not postpone even if you do not know the subject give grand test you will know where you stand you'll be able to read the particular topics better okay now what was the other thing i said the other thing is you think you're doing well okay you think you're doing well but you've not got a good rank again there is a problem in your methodology because you are convincing yourself you're doing well but that is not the way it's working everybody is practice it's doing something else that works so whoever is getting a rank whoever is getting a score is doing something that actually works which you are probably not doing so again you have to change your methodology now don't worry about the quantity of hours 
okay can, don't worry about quantity of hours do quality study read your material do questions do your do your basics have your concepts strong okay uh can i get a good rank in my first attempt yes if you're willing to do the hard work and you're doing the hard work why not you can and yes can we get a decent rank in mid-year exams yes you can i think see uh number one is don't wait for need the next need that's like 365 days from today you have a mid-year dnb to assess yourself to assess yourself if you get a great rank good if you don't get a great rank you really know where you stand and you still have time to work on it you still have time to work on it so i would say target yourself for the mid-year exam so that you will have an entire thing to repeat after it so you'll be doing an entire set of revision after that if at all you don't clear in the mid-year exam okay so go for it um see i would actually suggest grand test please give it once a week or at least once in 10 days one gt once in 10 days irrespective of your level of preparation do it honestly give it within the time frame and analyze yourself critically every question that you attempt please analyze that critically all right it's not enough that i have got a score of something in my grand test and i've got a great rank in my grand test i'm not worried about that i'm worried about my performance of each and every performance in each and every question okay so analyze each and every question read the explanation of each and every question okay how to avoid being complacent guys the motivation should come from within see today if i'm sitting at home with a feeling of okay i'm not done well so that should remind you every day what i need to do you cannot be complacent it's a you know it's a huge race and you have more people see the ones who are filtered today are adding to the next need and there are new ones coming to the next need so you have to really 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 work hard really work hard it's not that just the quantity quality your concepts it's not about mugging up facts anymore you have to be thorough with your concepts okay all right another question okay uh okay so okay let me say i'm giving a gt today always practice a gt giving it right in the morning when you're fresh so let's say i'm giving it from 9 to 12 three hours gt take a lunch break or something and try to finish it that very day so you give one day for that gt grand test and finish it off that day you should be able to do it you should be able to do it and if you're picking up new points from that explanation please write it down in your existing notes otherwise it will just evaporate it will just evaporate okay so go back go back hi dharmesh okay so go back and put it down in your notes whatever you learn from any test any question man that you learn anything new let it go down into your notes in your own handwriting in your own handwriting guys you need to put in hard work you need to put in hard work it's all the old style that is going to work again. Seven days, but at the end of uh, Swapnil. Okay, so yeah, if something is left, what do we do? Uh, I would suggest you pretty much leave that and move on. You move on, but make sure whatever that little one or two topics that are left, try to finish it off. Like uh, keep an hour or two, keep one hour for the next two days when you're moving on to the next subject try to finish it off even if you're not finishing it off it's okay just move on to the next subject okay how to get over this thought guys thoughts will be there if your mind is empty if your mind is blank your idle thoughts will come if you're in if you're engrossed in something if you're putting your mind into reading if you're completely concentrating into something Definitely, you will not have stray thoughts. So if you have stray thoughts, which is normal, I'm not saying it's abnormal, but that means you are not working on your goal. If you have to work on your goal, that means you have to study. You have to read. You have to work harder. So no question of stray thoughts. Yes. So give it wholeheartedly. How do I approach now? Okay. Now this job and things like that, that guys, now that's a personal call that you have to take. Now there are people who can work and study or you might have some financial you know obligations you might have to so you will have to juggle it in a way but that again needs a lot of sacrifice a lot of hard work there's no shortcut there's no shortcut i'm telling you 
okay all the best darmesh all the best for your ophthalmology practical okay and uh, those of you who are depressed now there's no time for depression guys there's no more competition coming your way so don't think of the competition just see how you can better yourself how you can improve your score okay so just that automatically things will improve now don't look at others don't compare yourself with others don't go into this mode of you know um what is this called uh, earning sympathy nobody is going to sympathize with you nobody is going to sympathize with you so we can offer you a little a few consoling words yes but how long can somebody keep consoling you maybe i can console you today you're going to text me tomorrow i'm going to console you tomorrow but do you think i'm also going to console you every day it's not going to be possible okay it's not going to be possible so don't expect that sympathy from anybody so you will have to start working hard you will have to start strengthening your own self okay so that means you are going to study what you're going to study your existing material if you have material and please do questions 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 do not do these shortcuts do not go for shortcuts you do shortcuts it's going to be really difficult okay so again after 6 months we are going to land at the same back to square one and it's going to be very tough on you all right so hum guys review your subject it depends on how strong you are so if you do questions you will know how many times you have to review now for me maybe i have to just read once i'll remember or certain topics i'll have to uh, read five times to remember or sometimes i have to read 10 times to remember so that's up to you i cannot say no i don't know your capacity i don't know how you are concentrating guys this is a problem we look for external help for everything because we've been spoon fed like this come on this no spoon feeding of how many times you have to review let me be very blunt i cannot tell you how many times you have to review <coughs> sometimes there is no review at all you just read once and you go for the exam and you just remember so don't expect everything to be spoon fed because we have been used to the spoon feeding now sochna hi band kar diya we just stop talk, thinking you feel madam rajaratnam madam will make a plan i cannot make a plan for you guys but i'll try to give you a plan okay so we'll make i'll try to do something like that but i'm really not for it i'm not a person for it but yes we will try to make a plan for aims we'll try to make a plan for the mid year dnb okay but that means you have to run with me okay you have to run with me if you are complacent and you lag behind then you're gone then we can't help you okay uh how should i motivate myself see when you read again and again your confidence will build and you can motivate yourself and you do more tests when your scores increase automatically it will motivate you okay Mm. See, there is no special tip for AIMS and JIPMA. It's all the same. If all to ki baat hai, there is no special tips. All that you have to read is read, and it's the same kind of questions that are asked. Now, that's an impression or the hype that is being created according to me. There is nothing like that. Maybe PGI, I would have a suggestion. You should have an increased reading skill. and analytical skill as you keep reading you have to analyze so you should have a grasping power like that so that you can handle five options and multiple answers choosing so you have to analyze each and every option so pgi yes a little uh, a tactic is involved baki to utna hi hai okay okay i will help you but let's see okay let's see so this is what i want to tell you and according to your ranks and how to you know arrive at your specialty or what to choose give me some time i have to look at the previous one and compare because there's a lot of there's a lot of shift between what has happened last year and what has happened this year so why don't you wait wait for 2 3 days guys now everybody wants to know hey this is my rank today madam now tell me will i get ophthal seat guys it doesn't work like that you also have to do your homework i also have to do some homework before i tell you something okay so be patient i'll get back to you okay i have i'm reading all your i'm reading all your messages now there are something really personal messages that i have not discussed here at all those i will respond to you in person okay so i've been through a class so tomorrow again i have class so uh guys you can never say that one liners have gone or it's only going to be concept based we have to be prepared for everything I don't know, guys. I I'm I don't I'm not an insider of NBE to tell you that. Ha! This time this is this was it, and that next time you should be prepared for anything. Who cares? 
Now, when I went for exam, I know the subject. That's it. I don't even care ke what type of question is coming. I really never cared. And how many questions I attempted also at that time, I never, never really bothered. Okay. I never really bothered. Ke I need to get a good strike rate. That was my only concern. And I need to be prepared for any question. I'm not bothered whether it is one liner or it is concept, whatever it is. I have the knowledge, I'm going to do it. So it's none of your and it's none of your botheration at all. You are supposed to be prepared for anything that is going to come to you. Now listen, Sachin is there. Sachin is not going to tell the bowler, hey, aise maro, ball. Okay, aise bhi dalega. It could be a bouncer, it could be anything, but he's ready for anything, no? So it has to be like that. So there's no dealing here. Okay. Anything else? Uh, guys, I'm not taking names of any brand, nothing. Now, uh, this is my personal view. There is, there is nothing. I have no interest here, no personal interest, no commercial interest. So, bus, ho gaya. Now, coming to the career guidance, yes, let's give it some time, then we'll do it properly. Okay, as if Altu Faltu ka nahi, not something very randomly. Yes, I'll respond to you. Just keep your cool. Now, there's a new page that I have formed for that. So, that bit, now let's keep this group only for ophthalmology. Let's be very clear on that. This group is only for ophthalmology. So, anything related to the career guidance, please do not put it here. Please do not put it here. Don't put it under the comments also here. We'll go back. The other group that I have put it there, that page, you put it on that page. Or maybe I'll put it into a group. I'll convert it into a group or something. So we can discuss and thrash it out there, not in this group. This group is purely academic, purely academic, only ophthalmology. All right. Okay. Uh, Shubham, I have, yeah, uh, I think you should watch this video again. I'm going to leave it on. So watch this again. If we have anything, I'll come up with a strategy. Now that strategy will be like according to the way I would plan it for myself. So yes, that is little spoon feeding, I would say, but still I will try to give it to you. Okay. So bye guys, all the best, keep studying, no depression, no depression. Yes, I promise to talk to some of you, but guys, I do have some limitations of time, of uh, a lot of things, energy, everything. So I'll try to get back to you ASAP. I'm not letting you down. I hope I'm not. Okay, if I'm not, I have not picked up some of your calls. But I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I had some personal obligations. Okay, so I will try to call you ASAP. You can call me ASAP, whatever. We'll work it out. Okay, we'll work it out. But don't worry about this rank and who uh, selection business. That will give us time. Give, give it a little time. Okay, give it a little time. Okay, so get back to studying all of you. Go back to sleep. Have enough sleep so that you can start studying properly. Don't give up on your sleep. At least have seven hours, six to seven hours of sleep every day. Okay. Okay, guys. See you maybe tomorrow. Or the day after. All the best. Good night.